Hey, what's going on YouTube? Alabama Reloader here <laughs> with the fiance. There she is, freezing her butt off because it's like 35, too 40. Cold. Too cold. Yes, yeah, it's like 40 degrees. Um, but I believe Todd B was a guy that wanted to see the beam scale. This is where I'm going to need your help. Okay. Go. You gotta come out from beneath the cover. This is the only beam scale I have, so bear with me. Um, and I don't use it. It's just one I've had tucked away. So it's not that great. The reviews on it are not that great if you go look for them. But so what we did, I've got the Frankfurt Arsenal IntelliDropper um, fired up next to the RCBS Charge Master. They've both been warmed up. Um, and I calibrated both machines with the same calibration weights from the Frankfurt Arsenal and I zeroed both machines with the same pan so I use the same pan I put the RCBS pan off to the side and then we just threw a charge of H322 25.7 so that's our first charge, so at least the RCBS agrees with it. Um, now, let's see here. Right, let's get that dumped in there. My lovely <laughs> pan holding assistant. Um, let's see here. This is why I think it's part of the reason why people don't necessarily like this beam scale. It's a little bit of pain, but so the way this one reads, um, there's 25 grains, 25.7, best I can get it lined up. Now that does zero the scale, the little uh, the included pan and the weight and everything. That that zeroes it. And if you can see there, I mean, we're about the best of my ability and my eyesight. We're dead on it. On video, it kind of looks like the beam might be just, I'm talking about a hair, less than a hair below that line. Um, but to my eyesight, what do you think? Which babe? is not very good. Thank you. Um, which is not very good. You've heard so 25.7 so there's that so it checked out on oh uh pan thank you so it checked out on uh the rcbs and the the beam scale if we get that dump back in there now i forgot to switch my mode So there we go. So our target, 25.7. So it's just going to throw the powder. And then we'll check it with the RCBS again. And the beam scale again. Dun, dun, dun. You want a video? Sure. Okay. There we go. And it is freezing cold out here. Uh, so there we go. We got 25.7. Um, on the Frankfurt Arsenal. Let's move it over here. Get a shot of the screen there. So we're at 25.7. All right, so they are in agreement. And then this guy. Gotcha. Being careful to pour this in. That way I don't mess it up. And then you gotta kinda let the beam scale settle.
we can get it if we can get it to quit moving on us. But that one's back to 25.7 as well. Or at least that's, I mean, it zeroed out at 25.7. So that's what, that's what we're looking for. Um, I believe that's what Todd, you were, you made a comment. Uh, all right, so it read 25.7 on the Frankfurt. And then we'll see what we throw here. 25.6 is what you're getting there. Switch it back over here, see if that's what read. Um, so it's going back and forth between, yeah, so even the Frankfurt's saying 25.6, 25.7, it was going back and forth. Um, I believe that's what Todd, you were saying you wanted to see. Uh, yep, 25.6. So that one's a tenth of a grain low uh, you were saying you wanted to see if it was registering consistently on the beam scale um, how it how it compared how consistently it would throw those charges and if it measured up and um, so if you will look if you'll look right there so that one is definitely less you can see that so it is less. Um, so there you go. So that one did throw a tenth light. Um, the Frankfurt Arsenal initially said it was good. And I don't know why it's not. I don't know why it didn't keep going in auto mode. Um, it initially said it was good. And then the RCBS said, no, it's not. It's a 10th lot. I put it back on the Frankfurt and it agreed and said, yes, it is a 10th, a 10th under and put it on the beam and it, it shows that it's under also. So there you go. Luckily for me, if I was actually loading these, um, this is H322 that I bought at Mr. Big Guns in Huntsville. Hey, um, make sure you go, uh, you gotta go check them out so hey to matt daniel tom all those guys um but if i was loading this for the 6.5 grendel that's what this load is the 25.7 i believe that's what i used um in the hunting rounds i loaded up i had decent results at 25.6 and 25.8 so that's why i just went in the middle of with 25.7 so even if this does throw a tenth light then I'm fine, or a tenth heavy, e either way, um, I would be fine. So that's where, just trying to identify those areas of um, good accuracy, your accuracy windows to where you've got a little bit of play on either side, so it's not, you know, it has to be perfect dead set at 25.7 for it to perform uh, the way you want it to. For the shooting I do, so we're at 25.7. It's been saying that for a minute. So now let's move it and see. Um, for the shooting that I do, the hunting and everything. So there it's 25.6. Can you get that on camera? Okay. So the RCBS says it's 25.6. So we'll go back to the Frankfurt. What does it say? So now it's fluctuating, now it's going back 25.6, 25.7. So it's good, it's going back and forth now. Yep, it keeps going back and forth. Um, but for the shooting that I do, I don't, I don't do bench rest, I don't shoot competitively. Um, I hunt, I shoot a bunch of paper, and I hunt with, with all the stuff that I have, so, you know, whether it's what I want it to be exactly to the tenth of a grain, I try to leave myself a little bit of wiggle room. And that one, same thing. It's showing just a slightly under on the zero. You gotta get down a little bit lower. Yep. See, so just under that that zero line there. Um, so that one looks like it's 
looks like it's 25.6. So for whatever reason, our Frankfurt Arsenal is not throwing um, exactly 25.7. And I've got it in auto mode. And you'll notice the last two times I put the empty pan back on and it's not throwing a charge. So in my mind, I don't know if that's saying, hey, there's something up with the calibration um, or what, because it's stable and in auto mode, it should automatically throw another charge and it's done that the last two times. So I'm not sure why. And in the manual, they don't really do, they don't really have like a troubleshooting section in the manual. So not a hundred percent sure. Um, that's just, that's kind of my thoughts on it. It could just be, Hey, the thing might've drifted a 10th or two on the calibration. And due to that shift, it won't throw a charge. I have no idea. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. That's what I wanted to show. Um, both machines have been warmed up for the exact same amount of time, so nothing was different there. I used the same calibration weights from the Frankfurt on the RCBS, so all the weights would be consistent. I used the same pan over there when I zeroed the scale, so nothing changed there. This one is leveled uh, with the bubble level. Um, let's see, what else? That's about it. Uh, we checked there. At least the beam scale is picking up on, you know, whether it's throwing a tenth light or not, um, which is good to know. Definitely good to know if you're, you know, throwing half grain or half, uh, yeah, half grain charges, light, and, and that sort of thing. Um, but again, on, in this case, yeah, it is frustrating that it's not 25.7, but 25.6 to 8, I'm, I'm in my good zone, uh, so to speak. But so there's that. Um, everyone say thank you to the most awesome uh, camera person. And then this guy. So if you actually stayed to the end of this video, which I'd be shocked if you did because it's super boring. Um, but if you did, then check this guy out. Yeah. So this, uh, this is the latest acquisition from Mr. Big Guns as well in Huntsville. And that is the... Savage BA 110 Stealth Evolution in 338 Lapua Magnum. I know it's Lapua. If you hear people work there or whatever, they always say Lapua. I'm just going to say Lapua. Um, so, yeah. So now we get to play with that guy. I uh, just got the scope on there. The scope is the SWFA um, fixed 10 power. So we got it mounted up, everything's level. Now we're ready to load some rounds up, send them down range. So excited. So, um, so excited. Pumped. Uh, but yeah, that's it. So there you go, guys. Um, looks like we're having some issues. See, even right now it's supposed to be reading zero and it's reading, it's fluctuating back and forth. Um, so there you go. So there's another test run with the Frankfurt Arsenal and Teledropper. I didn't even bother with the Bluetooth. Uh, this evening so my other phone is in the house and I just didn't feel like trying to pair it up and do the Bluetooth with the app I just wanted to show the beam scale um, but that's it so there you go I appreciate it guys y'all have a good one